Hey everyone, I hope wherever you are at and whatever you are doing, you are having a wonderful day. I am making this video because I just, I don't know, noticed something or realized something and I don't know if there is a direct link or not between one of my, the two plants that I'm about to talk about. So, um, I'm just going to put it out there and see <laughs> if anyone knows. But if you remember earlier in the year when I was germinating uh, bamboos before the cats ate them and killed them, um, I had a volunteer tomato that um, popped up in one of the plants, which makes sense because I put tomatoes in my worm bin and I use worm castings, blah, 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 blah. And so that tomato is right here. See, it's still in a, it's still in a, in a solo cut. But this volunteer tomato first popped up in the bamboo. So here is one of the bamboos that the cat's got a hold of. Again, that's the forks. And it has a volunteer tomato. And another volunteer tomato right look at this one volunteer tomato watermelon no volunteer tomato sunflower no volunteer tomato another watermelon no volunteer tomato part of a sunflower that may or may not live no tomato and this is the only um geranium that I was able to get to uh, germinate but what do you guys think that's really weird right the volunteer tomatoes are showing up in the exact same soil mixture but only with bamboos so is there like a symbiotic relationship going on like what what is happening exactly it's really cool but it's not anything I've ever heard of. Now, I know about all the mycorrhizal fungi and all that stuff. But I've never heard of any kind of a direct link between tomatoes and bamboo. So, guess who's going to be going on the internet and researching that today? Me.